If you always wanted to learn how to crochet but never knew where to start and you think 2024 is your year, this is the video for you. So let's get right into it. There are three main things you need to get started. First being materials, second being skills, and the third being your project. We're gonna break down all three of these categories into subcategories, and I'm going to explain what we need for all three of them. Okay, so the first category is materials. So first thing I'll say about this category, don't spend a lot of money. A lot of people have the desire to crochet, but then once they start, they may not like it. You do not wanna be stuck with a bunch of materials, not knowing how to get rid of them. I'm not saying be cheap, right? I'm not saying that. Give yourself a budget, go based off of that, but you don't wanna be stuck with a whole bunch of stuff if you won't use it. And now the literal materials. The first material you're gonna need is a hook. You're gonna notice that you're going to use a four point something millimeter hook. So the number is just the size of the hook. So there's different sizes. The size of the hook corresponds with the yarn, but we're just focusing on the hook right now, okay? I would suggest that you pick a four millimeter, 4.5 millimeter, or you get a set that has everything, which I also wouldn't necessarily recommend, but if you know you're really gonna stick to it and you know you're gonna like to crochet, it would be a pretty nice investment. You don't need this set with all the tiny needles and all the big needles. Some sets do the tiny ones, some sets do the mid ones, and some do the large ones, some do it all. When you get to like the all or you get to like the wooden ones, I realize they're a lot more expensive. Do not spend $100. Do not do it. Don't, you can do it, but I'm telling you, not worth it, okay? Not worth it at the beginning. So I realized I was talking a lot about money and saving money and how much to spend and not to spend throughout this video. But after thinking about it, I realized not everyone has the same access to like online or in-store resources. So it comes off a little bit choppy. I'm just going to chime in to cover some things I feel like I missed because I had to cut them out because it didn't really make sense giving advice on prices when I don't really know where you guys live. So if you do want a separate video to that, I can do it, but it would be more based on like where I'm from because I wouldn't have knowledge. Next subsection is yarn. So again, for beginners, the most common when you watch tutorials, people are going to be talking about a weight for yarn or a worsted weight yarn, which is basically the same. The only thing is yarn weights do vary from brand to brand and you can actually see it. Like if you look at one brand, flip it and you look at this side, it will show you this, like the size of hook that it recommends. This yarn is weight three and it's recommending 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter. So the weight fours will usually recommend like a four point something to a five point something depending on the brand. So again, this is just a guide. It's not law. So you want to get a weight for yarn. Now, how do you pick your yarn, right? You want to get one, I know this sounds weird, but one that you would like how it feels. You'll notice um, yarns on the cheaper side, sometimes it can feel a little bit scratchy. Those are often acrylic yarns. Acrylic yarns are fine to start with, and usually they're in a better <laughs> or more affordable or budget-friendly price range. So for those, definitely just like pick up the yarn and literally just feel it. Like if it feels really rough or weird, I'd say skip that. Not necessarily because it's a bad yarn, but it might split and it might give you a lot of issues. There's like really soft baby yarns, like you'll know the difference. When you just grab it, just like melts in your hand. Pick something that you like how it feels. I suggest you only get one ball. So now you have your hook and you have your yarn. So now let's move on to the skills you need to know. So the skills you'll need are chain, double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet, and triple crochet. There's also a slip knot, but a slip knot is literally just a knot that you put onto your hook. If you're watching any true beginner video, they're gonna show you how to do a slip knot. You need to learn your skills before you pick your project. Like you, you need to learn that. Don't pick your project and then learn the skills. But basically what I'm saying is you need to learn how to crochet before you actually make anything. Once you learn the double crochet, you're solid. Like the, once you can learn that, you can learn anything. Basically those are the only things you need to know. You don't need to know anything else. If you know those things, you will be able to make anything. After that is basically just time, how much time you have available and how much time you dedicate to your projects. The videos that you see on here that are from like six, seven, ten years ago, um, those are the ones I used. If you want to learn from me, I feel like 
um, I'm a lot better with filming now so if you want to learn from me let me know and I'll film um, a beginner's tutorial on the like main stitches but I'll also link below some of the videos that I've used in the past. Here we are to the third and final section. So this section is picking your project. These are just going to be some tips on how to pick your project. I was thinking of making like another separate video on this, like how to pick a crochet project, like solely based on your personality. If you want to crochet, there's something you've seen that probably makes you want to crochet, whether it's a video, whether it's a tutorial, whether it's something you saw online, right? If it's just one thing, um, go ahead and pick that thing. If it's a bunch of things, go ahead and pick the smallest thing. And what I mean by smallest is literally the smallest. So if you saw a blanket, like a huge blanket, and you saw a coaster, pick the coaster. Please pick the coaster. Um, and why I say this is because in order to keep yourself motivated, you want to complete a project from start to end. So pick the smallest project possible, but also make sure it's a project you like. Because if it's something that's just small, and you don't really care for it at all, you also probably won't get it done. I would avoid very, very big projects, although I know a lot of people choose a scarf and a blanket or like a shawl for this first project. I would highly recommend against it, especially if those aren't things in your style. Like if you're gonna go for apparel, make something that you know you would wear, make the smallest one of it, right? So bralettes are great, Hat hats are cool, little cute purse is cool. Your project, again, we're still trying to save money, right? I'd say get a free pattern, go so based off that, and based off the pattern, it will help you know which hook and yarn to buy if you have not already figured this out, or you can reverse engineer and look for patterns that use the four millimeter hook, the point four yarn. The great thing about crochet is there's a lot of room for errors and your own interpretation, and it will still be functional and look good. Don't worry too much like if I gave you some numbers and nothing's exact. Those are just a guideline. But follow what the um, YouTube tutorial says, but like I said, it's most important that you learn the skills first. Once you learn the skills first, you'll be able to do the project way easier. I should have added this back into the skills sections, but just make some like swatches. Just like when you learn how to single crochet and double crochet, just do make a long chain and just practice those stitches over and over and over and over do it for like a couple of hours before you start actual project okay promise at the end of the day you just want to make sure you're kind to yourself don't get too frustrated if you're patient and you give yourself the adequate amount of time i'm confident you'll learn how to crochet in 2024 thank you so much for watching if you have any questions just leave them down below take care see you in the next one bye